tube friends. My name is Constance and this is Cruelty Free Musings where today we are talking about a challenge that I have put myself through for your entertainment this week. So the premise of the challenge is that I am going to wear less makeup. This may not sound like a challenge, but I tend to have two frames for makeup, which is nothing and all out. And I don't really have a skill set of anywhere in between. So this week was kind of an intentional, accidental, making myself wear less makeup so that I could become more comfortable with how my features look with less makeup on them and so that I could develop my skills a little bit into unknown territory. So let's begin. Day one. Day one was the inspiration. I was getting ready as usual and I decided to just take less time with my makeup. So I threw some stuff on my face and then I quit. And then I wound up looking like this. And the main feature of this makeup look, I would say, is no mascara, which is very weird for me. A very minimal makeup look for me still has mascara. Lots of people don't feel dressed without their brows. Me, I have fairly nice brows. It doesn't, today is actually the only day this week that I have worn anything in my brows. I generally feel okay with my brows as they are. But boy howdy, my lashes disappear into nothing. They're basically blonde. So I load them up with mascara. I want volume. I don't really need length. They already hit my eyebrows. But I want volume and I want darkness on my lashes to define my eyes. So on this day, this first day, I felt strange until about noon because I had this very pretty light eye look and then no definition to my eyes at all because I didn't have on mascara. And the as I was thinking about it and how this, um, how this challenge video came to be, I was thinking about it while I was in the bathroom, staring at my weird face with no mascara, but, but eye makeup on. And I decided that I am not okay with not being okay with how I look. So I decided to push my limits and my comfort zone with how I put on makeup. So this was me attempting to feel more okay with putting less emphasis into the makeup so that I can put more attention onto the physical features behind the makeup. So for example, without the extra definition from the mascara, my eyes look enormous and, um, and maybe it was the colors that I combined together and maybe it was the lightness of the look, but they looked very green. For those of you who do not know, my eyes change color depending on what's next to them. And I don't know this personally, but my family swears that it depends, that it changes depending on what mood I'm in. So my eyes change color. They go from 
gray to blue to green. So they're, they're like in the blue hazel end of this spectrum. Most people only that have color shifting eyes only have two colors. Like my dad has basically hazel eyes. They're sometimes green and sometimes uh, brown. But I have extra shifty eyes. So um, it's always impressive to me when they're green because they're green the least amount of time. They're most of the time gray or blue. So the light eye look put a lot of emphasis on my eyes and on my eye color. And that is something that is worth knowing for when I want to emphasize that feature about myself. And that's part of why we play with makeup, right? So that we know what to change when we want to emphasize something. So I came home at the end of that day and I was like, this was a great challenge and I was uncomfortable and it was weird and let's do this more. I think we'll make a great video. So I brainstormed a list of things that I could not incorporate into my makeup and how I could make them part of my natural look. And so then the next morning I decided I would not wear blush. Now this might not be an odd decision. This might not be a, a difficult decision for a lot of people, but I find that blush is really central to even a light makeup look for me because my, my cheeks naturally flush right here. <laughs> my cheeks naturally flush bright pink right in the center of my cheeks. And so they tend, my face tends to look odd if there's no color right here in the apples of my cheeks at all. But this was the challenge that I was setting for myself. I'm not going to put any blush color here and I am going to make it work. So I dug into my annals of inspiration and I found Sam Chapman of Pixie Woo and I was like, you know what this needs? This needs a glowy bronzer. How am I going to do this with my matte bronzer that I only own, that I own just the one? Well, obviously I'm going to mix it with a glowy face powder. So that resulted in this, this look here. And I like it with reservations. I would say that I am definitely converted to the concept of a glowy bronzer. I think it looks totally reasonable and I love it. I'm dragged across, um, you know, dragged cheek to, um, to temple and then just the tiniest bit dusted across your nose. It's a very natural and healthy way to apply a glowy bronzer. However, I will note that the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in Light Bronzer is, um, it's yellow. So it's a very warm toned and it's a great bronzer for people that are warm toned. And it would, if, if I had the regular bronzer, which I believe is significantly warmer toned, about the same depth, but warmer toned, or cooler toned, redder is the point that I was trying to get at, then that would probably work really well as a glowy bronzer on me because my cheeks flush so pink. 
So on day two, I went with a glowy base and um, I don't remember. I feel like maybe I just put on mascara and basically did a pretty light look and lipstick. Mascara, of course. So the, the general concept <clears throat> is glowy bronzer, great for summer, great for looking sun-kissed. Um, for me, for personal application, if I were going to make this bronzer specifically into a glowy bronzer again, I would pull out my Moonchild palette and I would mix it with Pink Heart because that is the singular pink highlight that I own. And that I think would give it enough warm reflect, cool reflect, that would give it enough pinkness for it to look reasonable on my very pink cheeks because it did look, it looked a little bit like mud, not a lot, but it just, it definitely looked like bronzer sitting on top of my face. It did not look like my actual just face. So, day three, day three, day three was no concealer. And because I frequently use concealer as a base product, just like in my entire face, I took that to mean I'm not going to wear any complexion corrector at all. So nothing under my eyes, my main bugaboo, nothing on my spots, which uh, you might be able to see this beauty. Yeah, that, that one was here yesterday. Just, you know, eyes, lips, blush, bronzer. My highlight was on point yesterday. Love, I love a highlight on a bare face like no, no foundation at all. I think that it's just one of the best things. It, it just makes your skin look so healthy to have this, you know, normal skin canvas. And then, oh, there's this streak of just glow on the top of your cheekbone. It, it was my favorite thing about that look. And, um, I think that the picture that I am putting here is the one with a, a prominent red spot right here by the corner of my mouth, but I'm catching my highlight and I do not care. You know, freckles out, spots out, dark circles out, who cares? We're beautiful in our skin. I, I would say actually that the no concealer day is the easiest one for me to pull off because I am very comfortable with my skin. I have never been bothered by acne. Like it doesn't mentally bother me that I have acne. I just, I am like, if I'm wearing makeup, it's not to cover up spots. It's just ever, like that's never my intention because they don't bother me. I don't feel insecure about my freckles or about my spots. I feel a little bit insecure about my, my red nose and my dark circles. So wearing no concealer is a challenge in that regard. But this is, this is my easiest day because I really like the way that my skin looks completely uncorrected. Um, so that was Wednesday. And then today, the biggest challenge for last, can you guess? Can you guess? Children, I am wearing no lipstick. 
I am wearing no lip gloss. I am wearing no color at all. I let myself take my overnight lip balm to work so that I could have something on my lips during the day. But I didn't apply enough of it to get the, the glossy look. It's the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, so you can legit wear it as a gloss. But um, I did not wear it as a gloss. I wore it as a balm. And I took a little bit and I rubbed it into my lips just to make me more comfortable. Because my lips, I wear um, lipstick and lip gloss in the part because my lips are perpetually chapped. Um, I should probably get an SPF, an SPF lip balm because I'm pretty sure that they're just always sunburned like just a little bit, but there's, there's always a little bit of dry, rough skin peeling up off of my lips. And that is just how it is with me and my lips. So I, yeah, this was, this was the hardest day because I'm used to having something comfortable on my lips to soothe the to soothe the dryness. It wasn't an appearance thing, although I, I do love me a lip color, but it was really a, a, a comfort, like physical comfort, like I'm used to having something slippy on my lips. Comfort. So, to sum up what this video was about, this was about getting comfortable in my skin, adding some tools to my, to my repertoire so that if I want to do a glowy bronzer one day, I can do that. I know how to do it. I will pull out my bronzer and my Moonchild palette and I will have some makeup playtime mixing a glowy bronzer. And, you know, there's, n there's nothing that deep. There's nothing that deep to sum up this video with. It's just makeup. I'm essentially just playing with makeup because I want to play with makeup in a slightly different way. I love the full face of makeup and how it looks, but I also love being able to put on less makeup and still be happy with how it looks. So that was the ultimate goal was to not just challenge myself to just, you know, full stop, wear less makeup. Wear no makeup to work for a week. That would not be a challenge for me because I really like my skin. It's just not a, it's not a challenge for me. I am comfortable with how I look with no makeup. I have worn no makeup to work before. It does not bother me. But Putting on strategically less makeup so that I am not wearing a full face of makeup, but I'm still really happy with how it looks in the end. You know, that's a skill worth having. I'm happy that I spent some time this week experimenting and getting myself there and consciously pushing myself outside my comfort zone, literally. My lips are so chapped. So chapped. I hope you've enjoyed or learned something or both. Like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you feel like. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.